I was looking for something to watch last night, and I, I realized I had this moment. I, I was complaining to my wife about Netflix. I was like, I never know what's new on Netflix. Like, I have to work my ass off. I have to get on the Netflix app and surf around and see if I see something new. She's like, I get an email all the time. I'm like, what do you mean you get an email? Email. Yeah. Well, like now I realize everything on our it's all under her email, her password and everything. Right. I'm like, oh <laughs> wow, I've never had like it's her email, so she gets the email. So I'm assuming if you are a Netflix subscriber. And like Kyle, I don't know, is it under your emails? Your husband's email? Scott's email. So then mm-hmm. no they're all the people in our families that don't really care about TV are the ones getting the email that says, Here are the new shows. I'm assuming. <laughs> I usually try the only way that I've been able to do it is I'll usually go to like the coming soon part and then right, I'll you watch the work. trailers you've and you've then I'll work. put it on my list so that it reminds me when it comes. Right. Yeah. You've got to work hard to see what's out there. But anyway, I sat down, I turn on my Netflix and I see Kevin Hart dropped this new comedy special. I turn it on, and it looks like it's an hour and 45 minutes, which is long for a comedy special. I'm like, oh. I turn it on. I watch it. It went by like 10 minutes. It was so damn funny. It was so damn original. It was so clever. It even had a twist at the end, right? Mm-hmm. Did you get the twist at the end? Yeah. And I was like, I said to Suzette right before I went, I go, you've got to watch this. And what did you think? I thought it was probably his best stand-up. So do I. Because it... The, the thing that I really ad- enjoyed about it was that he was straight up. He was real. It wasn't relatable, but it was his life, and he was telling it as it is and how he feels. And at points, he'd be like, I know I'm probably going to get in trouble for this, but whatever. I'm going to say it because that's how I feel. Because he got in trouble. Remember, he got in trouble for some comedy before, cancel culture. Remember, yeah. he wouldn't host the Oscars because of some yep. comedy, he said. So the setup is... This is so crazy. It starts off where he's in his house. He's in his house, and he's sitting there with his wife and kids in his house, and he kisses his kids goodbye, and he says, all right, see you later. And he walks down to another room, and he's in a theater in his house. So he does the stand-up in his house, and he has a handful of guests. He doesn't say, I don't know if you know who the guests are or not. They're all wearing masks. So he's got a theater in his house, and he does his stand-up, his whole stand-up in his theater in his house, right? So he doesn't leave his house. And then he... He goes off on COVID. He goes off on everything. And then he says things that he thinks he's going to get in trouble for because of what happened at the Oscars. He says, well, I'm going to get in trouble for this, right? And he does it. But then at the end, the way he gets away with it is something he does at the end of the special, right? Yeah. 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 At the end of the it special. It took me a while to kind of like pick up on it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I see what he's doing. Is it like everything he says, you can't you can't hold against him because of this twist? Yes. Is it something we could use for our entire show every day? No. <laughs> oh, no, we couldn't. It'd be, it'd be great to be able to get away with everything, but just a thing. With but a he does magic. it, so he does a stand-up special, raw, and yeah. he just lets go, and it's amazing, and it's hilarious, and it's amazing. He's talking about COVID, and, he's, and I didn't know this. He's like, and he, he talks about getting COVID at the exact same time Tom Hanks had it, right? I didn't know that. He said, I had it at the same time. He goes, but I'm not a bigger star than Tom Hanks. He goes, if, I, he goes, if David Hasselhoff had it, I'll go out and tell everyone I had a COVID because I'm bigger than David Hasselhoff. He goes, but if I tell if Tom Hanks has it and I got it, no one cares if I have it. But he's like, so, right? Isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah. And he talks, talks a lot about his ego. My, my, one of my favorite parts is when he's, uh, he's got the number one movie at the box office in his private school. Asked him to be a greeter at the fair. He's like, I feel like I'm not the the level of celebrity that I am is not respected. That is cool. I'm humble, and then he he like goes on, but I'm not respected. Like my level of celebrity is just not respected, and it's it's just so funny. Like the everything he says, it's so unrelatable, but you love how real he is with his feelings. He's like Terry Crews's kids go to this school. You ask him to be a greeter. <laughs> 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 He's like Alfonso Rivera, Carlton from Will F- from Fresh Prince. His kids go to this school. He can be a greeter. I got the number one movie. The box office. My face is on bus buses that come by. He goes, my bu- my face is everywhere. He's I'm not a greeter. Him. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so when he talks about his kids, yeah, that's the best. The Disneyland, the the flying privately. It's so funny. Yeah, fly, flying privately. He talks about flying private everywhere. But then you know they they go with his mom, with their mom, and they're not flying private. 
and they call him, well, Dad, what is this? Right? He's like, that's what happens when you go to your mom. Oh, my gosh. Why would his mom be flying private? <laughs> because they got a divorce. That's the They're divorced. Mom. That's his ex-wife. That's the ex-wife. Oh, his ex-wife. I thought you were yeah. about No, it's his ex-wife. And then, and then and afterwards, he's like, he goes, I really got to apologize. I didn't run these jokes by my ex-wife. I love that part. Because I'll probably gonna... have to buy her a new Tesla truck. <laughs> <laughs> but then he does all these incredible jokes. It's just so, it's one of those specials where I want to watch again. But then he does things where he makes fun of people where he's like, I'm going to get canceled, people are going to get pissed. And then when it's all over, the special's over, he does something where it's like, okay, you can't cancel him now. Pretty genius. Yeah, it's really clever. And I'll tell you guys off air. Anyway, guess what? I bought a pizza place. What? Oh, it's official? Opens in February. Wow. How's that feel? Congratulations. It feels good because I had nothing to do with it. (laughs) I I was in yoga class. My wife and I took yoga class. In fact, this is a relationship problem. So, you know, she has a car. I have a car, right? I think that's relationships. She's got her car, I have my car. And we had yoga at one. And she goes, I have to be at the bank at 2.30 to meet Howard, our partner in the pizza place, to set up the bank account and put the money in to buy the pizza place. I'm like, okay. She goes, do you want to go with me? I'm like, no. <laughs> and she goes, I go, why don't we take separate cars? Why does she ask? <laughs> I know. <laughs> because <laughs> if she didn't, he'd be like, well, you don't think I want to go? <laughs> yeah, but do you want to go with me? She's got to know whatever that is. Yeah. So she goes, I go, let's take two cars. She's like, no, let's just go together. I'm like, oh, you're going to be late to your 2.30 meeting. It's yoga. We got yoga for an hour, hour and a half. Normally it'd be an hour and a half. But So we made yoga an hour and 15. We're, I'm in my car. We took my car driving back from yoga she's like can i just take your car to the meeting and i'm, I'm in my car right and i'm like okay so i get out I, leave, I park the car in the street and i get out you know i have just my shorts on no shirt on and i walk out to my driveway and she goes hey you have the key in your pocket you know how that adds you know how you do that right i have my key in the pocket oh crap i walk back i give her the key and then whatever she's gone i don't see her till like six i, I took my son to get a haircut and all this stuff and we come back, I come back and we talk, we have dinner, whatever, I go to bed. Wake up this morning, do my normal routine, it's time to leave the house, I can't find my car key. Oh, terrible. Can't find my car key. I don't know how many purses she has that are laid out. Oh, no. I'm going through purses, <laughs> I'm going through purses, I can't find, and I'm like, I don't want to be a jerk, I'm, I'm pressed for time now. So I'm like, dumping out purses and I can't, I can't find it. I don't know where my car, so I'm like, maybe she left it in my car. Yeah. So I go in my car, it's not in my car. Mm. I go back, I find another purse. I dumped that out. It's not in there. So I had to go into the laundry room, and I had a spare key. So I found that spare key, and I left. So anyway, it's so frustrating that, you know, she – I go and all this, like, all we had to do was take different cars. All you had to do was take – we would have taken different cars to yoga. There wouldn't be this problem we have right now, which threw off my whole morning. So I don't know what's going to happen today. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But anyway, so we got the pizza place. Oh. Yeah, nice. so apparently it's going to open in February. Uh-huh. Rosati's Pizza uh-huh. in Castle Grand, next to the movie theater, where not one place has ever succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to defy all That's the right. odds. We're no strangers to that kind of business model. <laughs>